So the question is, I want to start coding, but I don't want to waste time on doing something that won't get me a job. This, my friend, is what I call analysis paralysis. This was a question I got on one of my recent YouTube videos, and it makes me go crazy, this type of stuff, but this type of stuff is what 99% of the world deal with. And what I wanna tell you on that is you would much rather make the wrong decision and get started than make the right decision, but wait for a really long time. You see, life is made up of not one decision, but the sum of all of your decisions combined. The only way to improve your decision-making ability and the path you choose is through making decisions. Just the same way as I got better at public speaking or making videos or programming, you want to get better at whatever it is that you're doing by doing it a lot. I like to say the only way to get to quality is quantity. All right, and this is a concept I actually call quality, okay? And what this essentially means is do a lot of what you're doing and then you're gonna start improving in it. The only way to get to quality is through quantity, all right? The only way is through. When I am faced with a problem, like let's say public speaking, the way I get better at it is by doing a lot of it, whether it's making videos or maybe I wanna improve in coding. The only way that has happened is through me coding a lot me making a lot of git commits on my github every day putting in the time the effort and the energy to do that so for you what i recommend is see life is the sum of all of your decisions not just a few decisions and the only way to improve the quality of your decisions is through making lots of decisions the only way i improve in programming is through making tons of mistakes and failing fast now i know more than a lot of people is exactly what will be wrong with my code if I do things a certain way, that helps me actually become a better programmer. The same thing comes to making decisions in life. You would rather make wrong decisions really, really fast, make lots of them, then your ability to make decisions will improve, your quality of decisions will improve, and by you making tons of decisions, you will cut down your decision-making abilities time from a decade to a year, so you will be as skilled at making decisions as you would be if you waited 10 years to make a decision. I'll give you an analogy. Most people think if they just think long enough, they'll come up with the right solution. Absolutely fucking wrong. Where this became very clear for me was in chess. Chess is not a physical sport. Chess is a mental sport. And chess is all about having perfect information. There's 16 pieces that I have, there's 16 pieces that you have, and we both have perfect information, meaning that every single move, it's 100% possible <laughs> that you can make the best move in every position because you have perfect information. You could look at it, you could take one day to think about your next move, you could take two days, you could take five days, 50 hours, you could take a month, a year, or five years. But the interesting thing is, that you will still not make the best moves every move, even if you took one to two years per move. This is when you realize that you are not hindered by time. Time is not what will help you improve. You have to play more chess games. You have to learn more about chess to actually improve. Then, even in the future, even in five minutes, you could find a pretty good quality move. Grandmasters can find way better moves than you can in like probably 20 seconds than even if you spent a month on a move to figure it out, okay? With that said, the same applies to your real life. If you don't make a lot of decisions, you don't fuck up in coding and programming a lot really, really fast, you are gonna be stuck at exactly where you're at and this is the concept of analysis paralysis. Most people, why they're stuck in coding and not improving is because they're trying to find the perfect resource, the perfect tutorial, the perfect guide, the perfect project, the perfect place to apply, whatever it may be. And that's why they either never improve, they never get a job, they never get a client because they haven't even take those fucking shots, right? So it's one thing to take a shot and then miss it versus never taking a shot, then you have a 100% chance of missing it. Forget about this bullshit of making the best decision or there's a best coding project or there's a best way to not waste time. 
coding, all right? What else are you gonna be doing anyway? You're gonna be wasting time doing something else that's stupid. Might as well waste time while coding, working on a project you think is not correct, then finding out why it wasn't correct a few days into it or a few weeks into it, then course correct and move on. But you have to make wrong decisions really, really fast. This year, the Clever Programmer business is gonna grow like crazy. The audience is gonna grow like crazy because you know why? In 2018, I tried to be a big time perfectionist, plan everything out, make it so like planned out and everything. And what I realized is that that's actually slowing us down. So this year, because I was like, what is gonna be the perfect course that I can make for everybody? What is the perfect? Now, I don't care about perfect. I'm gonna keep making what I believe in and I'll keep going and I'll keep failing fucking fast. I'll fa fail faster than almost anybody, which will make this company, Clever Programmer, grow a lot faster than everybody else does too. Okay, it's gonna make the subscribers grow more, it's gonna help you more, and it's gonna allow the business to grow faster. We're gonna produce more courses than we've ever had, we're gonna produce more videos than we've ever, ever had, and we're just gonna be stronger and winners, all right? Um, even in the last few weeks, we've been getting incredible results by students, and they're hitting us up, and they're like, we're winning, we're winning, we're winning, and those are the action takers we need, okay? Jabbar Abdullah, messages me, he's like, dude, you're changing our, my life. I'm getting high level mentorship from your Earn 1K program, and I did not even think this was possible. I'm surrounded by fucking geniuses. So he's getting a win, Maddie's getting a win. This one girl, her name is Hager Mahmood, I believe. I hope I didn't butcher it, but she's on our Instagram. We'll put her link here or whatever. You can check out her profile. But she's been doing a coding challenge. She's on day five, and she's doing a double 30 day challenge, which means she's doing an exercise every day and she is coding every single day all right and she's currently on day five tomorrow will be day six every day i go to her ig and when she posts that she did it i go and support her i tag some of my teammates like rachel or frankie or aaron in the post and I, we all push her and hold her accountable to these results so those are the winners and action takers we want to build a clever programmer we want to be surrounded by and that we want to become so you need to become an action taker. Quit dilly-dallying around and thinking, oh, there's something, there's a best way to go about something. There's no best way, just do the wrong way as fast as possible. And that's really what's exciting, right? Because if you knew the ending, it would not be fun. It's like knowing the ending to a movie. You wanna go down a path, maybe a dark path, maybe a path, a road not traveled enough, go and discover it, figure it out, see what's going on. And then come back, lesson learned, improve from there. So don't be scared of wasting time. Just get in there, start coding today and actually join us in the 30 day challenge of Instagram. And you can actually put me in your story, make a story. You code, take a picture of it from your Instagram story, tag me at Clever Kazi, say something like 30 day coding challenge. I'll blast you on my story. I'll probably put you on this YouTube channel as well, but let's put the Instagram thing right over here at Clever Kazi, okay? And this way you can hold yourself accountable and actually get shit done become a part of all of the action takers. All right, that's what I want for you. I love your face as always. This is Kazi and I'll see you in the next video.